there. Now, before vaccines are used on you, they're first tested on mice. White mice, that is. For ages, medical researchers have been using animals to verify safety of medicines and vaccines. Besides biomedical research, mice are also used in psychological experiments. Our health and science reporter, Beldin Waliaula, tells us why these white mice and rats are used. With a lot of research going on in the world, I was curious to know how scientific research is done on animals. My curiosity brought me to University of Nairobi School of Biological Sciences, Chiromo Campus, to know why white rats are commonly used in scientific research. Welcome to the School of Biological Sciences. Thank you so much. Professor Jack Skabaru is in charge of the animal house. These are cages with rats in them. And, um, it is clean and well maintained and looks nothing like what I had in mind. This particular room hosts different types of rats and mice. But why these rats? About one and a half centuries ago, a scientist decided to carry out some studies on the effects of fasting, that is staying without food for a long time, on, a human, on, on an animal body. And he used the rat. And from that time, the rat became popular as an experimental animal. The University of Nairobi breeds its own animals, and if it runs short, they cooperate with institutions like the Kenya Medical Research Institute, Cambry, who also have similar animals. This also helps to avoid inbreeding. If you have a sister marrying, mating with a brother, and so on and so forth, in a very close-knit kind of marriage, then you are bound to get genetic diseases. Just not any other rat and mouse is used in scientific research. They have to be white. And Professor Kabaru explains why. You can easily mark individuals using a felt pen if the skin or the hair is white. If there are issues you are looking for, for example, effects like uh, inflammation, it is easier to see that on an albino or a white, uh, white animal. Okay? Even the eyes, if you're, uh, you're looking for effects on eyes, it's easier to see that um, when you have an albino or a white rat. Animal rights are observed here to ensure no one injures them or uses them for undisclosed and sinister motives. The rats are mainly used, um, well, they are mainly used for um, research of testing substances, including drugs, before the test can be escalated to the human level. The animal house must have good lighting, good aeration, clean water, and constant supply of food. Joshua Agat is the animal house attendant who ensures that the rodents are well fed and looked after. He has been doing this job for eight years now. When I come in the morning, first thing I must check if there's any sick animal. I must open all the doors and check if there's anyone sick. If there's none, of if, if there's any problem, because some can even escape, maybe if they are not close to one. Eh? From then, then I start by feeding. Just like any other animal or human being, these rats and mice get medical attention when they fall sick. These rats are used to generate answers to problems that humans face every day, and it is the task of the researchers to document this. I've been doing it for more than 30 years, working with animals, manipulating animals, and um, I like it. Besides the white rats, there's so many other animals that are used in scientific research, like rabbits. Guinea pigs are docile, so they are very popular uh, for use in research. So you want to test whether beauty products, insecticides, and so on and so forth will cause allergies. The guinea pig skin, specifically the skin of the male, is used for that purpose. The rats and mice here play their role, contributing in guarding human health as it evolves. Professor Kabaru hopes that more young people will show interest in this kind of research work and take after his aging generation. This cage here should take uh, about 10 of them. Yeah, and that's almost about it. No more. Building.